Steve, thanks so much. Your students are getting ready for their first day back to class. And as you take them for their annual physical, local experts are urging you to ask certain questions when you meet with your physician. MedStar Health Pediatrics doctor Mary Jane Rain is here now to help us create that checklist. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Hi there, it's great to talk to you this morning. Absolutely, and you're certainly the woman of the hour because a lot of our kids are already back to school or are heading back today. So what are some of the questions that, that parents should be prepared to ask? Yeah, there's a lot of things that we cover during these annual checkups, um, especially at the start of the school year. We want to make sure that your child is off to a great start. Um, so some of the things we like to talk about are their child's growth. We want to make sure that they're following their growth curves, make sure that they're eating a relatively balanced diet. Um, it's good to ask about activity to make sure that your child is getting the age appropriate amount of exercise each day. We also want to check in to make sure that they are cleared for whatever sports they choose to participate in that academic year. As we all know, sleep is really, really important for memory consolidation and learning. So we want to make sure that your child is on a sleep schedule that's going to set them up for success. And then we talk obviously about development, and especially in young kiddos, we want to make sure that they're meeting all of their developmental milestones. We always want to make sure that kids are up to date on their vaccines, not only their routine childhood vaccines, but also their annual flu and COVID. And it's always good to check in about your child's mental health too. We like to chat with kids to see how they're feeling about starting a new school year and talk about kind of any nerves they might be having and how they can best deal with those too. Would you advise uh, a COVID-19 flu uh, booster shot for this new school year here in the fall? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we've seen a lot of COVID cases this summer alone. Um, and a lot of times we see spikes in different viruses once the school year starts. As you might be able to tell from my voice, um, things are definitely going around right now. So I would definitely try to protect your child as much as possible. Yes. And we know when they're all back together and in those tight spaces, uh, oftentimes some kids will, will get sick as a result. Will you also encourage uh, parents to make sure that they put hand sanitizers in those backpacks? You know, what are some other things that families can do to, to ward off illness? Definitely, yeah. So I think we're all a lot more familiar with Purell, you know, since the <laughs> pandemic. Um, so definitely having kids have their own hand sanitizer on them, encouraging kids to wash their hands before and after meals can help a lot. And then teaching kids how to sneeze or cough into their arm to try to prevent, you know, the spread to their classmates um, or kind of spread um, when they're touching doorknobs and so forth, too. Many kids across our region are already uh, in class as we speak or are certainly close to it. When it comes to breakfast, we know it's the most important meal of the day. Uh, what should parents incorporate so that they can make sure that their student is starting uh, off the best way possible? Absolutely. Yeah, we always check in. And um, I often ask specifically about breakfast because sometimes if kids are skipping breakfast, they might be getting headaches throughout the day. They might be feeling a little bit tired, having a hard time focusing. So whenever a kid is coming to me and describing those symptoms, especially kind of during the morning hours at school, I'll always check in about that. With any meal, it's always important to have a mix of carbohydrates, fat, and protein. Um, and especially if your kid is not a big eater in the morning, just having something easy for them to grab, like maybe some toast with peanut butter or something like that, something that they can grab out, out the door, um, and that's kind of easy for them to munch on maybe in the car on the way to school too. Finally, I know you see families, uh, young people each and every day in your practice. Is there uh, one particular issue that you're seeing more of uh, or you typically see this time of year that you can uh, share with us before we end the segment? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, like I alluded to before, you know, a lot of times we'll see kids just having some kind of back to school jitters, um, maybe some nerves about starting with a new teacher or they're not really sure what friends are going to be in their class. For older kids, you know, we might see some nerves about starting high school and kind of what that looks like, different friend dynamics. Um, so it's always really important to check in about how your child is feeling, um, if they're feeling anxious about starting school. And if you're seeing a lot of that, especially if your child is saying that they don't want to go to school because of those feelings, it's always really important to make an appointment with your pediatrician so we can talk about some of those coping strategies and some more resources for your child. Because we know that mental health is physical health. Thank you so much. Uh, MedStar Health Pediatrics Dr. Mary Jane Rain for all of those uh, very special and important reminders as well as recommendations. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you.